And we are here. We are playing. Can see. Long time no see, guys. Secret code here. It's been a while. And I'm excited. I have a bunch of games coming up that I'm going to release. So we're going to have a lot of content. But this game is my deepest love. Ken Seed. I love this game. I love the developers. Just love everything about it. So let's get a, go ahead and see uh, what's new with the early access release. And uh, well, we were in super, super alpha before. So a little bit of things are going to change. So what you can expect, pretty gorgeous music and oodles of charm. Incredible rough controls, swarms of bugs, large unused spaces, and absolutely zero balancing. Self-deprecating but curiously charming developers. What you shouldn't expect, a finished game or half a finished game or even a quarter finished game. Characters aging, chat and friendship system, butterf buttery smooth combat or butter. Any significant content or story beyond the first handful of the season. At its core, can see this game about choosing how to spend the lifetime that you can, that you're given. We've chosen ours, making games. We're real people with real dreams, and making Kenshin is exactly the sort of thing we've always dreamed about. We hope you will join us for the journey with your feedback, ideas, and dreams of your own. And they do take feedback. These guys are great. So let's get started. We'll play a boy. There was an old woman who lived in the shoe. She had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. The one day, a man without a wife or child came to the house with a manner so mild. The man looked at the office and stroked at his chin, and then smiled at the two children, each one a fair twin. He took them away to live in the vale, in the land of Quill, the place of our tale. Then they slept safe, warm and dry, under the watchful stars in the sky. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's get started again. I haven't played this in a while since the last time I recorded uh, the last video of the Super Alpha. Greetings, eh? Come on, Lazy Bone. Our new dad has been kind to us and we should be earning our keep, not having a sleep. Here's your task list. Push down on the D-pad. Well, I mean, what am I saying? Are you going to read those tasks? Yes, I'm going to read the task. Uh, the future, the polar ice caps have melted. Apes run amok with war machines. With, um, not war machines, machine guns. People solve murders before they happen by looking at their little balls. And the people of Quill tell the time by picking dandelions. Nature is the best of technology. Father wants you to feed the pigs. An apple should do. Shake one down from a tree. Hold X, Y, or B to bring up the radio. Okay, throw something in by holding the R trigger and aim with the right stick. Hold A and choose feed from the interaction menu. You won't earn any pocket money if you don't do as you're told. All right, let's get going. Off you go. Hold the right bumper to run. Well, we're going to shake an apple off the tree. Got an apple. It's not a pristine apple, but it's an apple. That's what we needed to do. Just collect a lot of d different fruits, you know. Get that get that yumminess going. And let's put blessings in. You got to do this because I hear if you don't do this, you'll have like rotting fruits and worms coming out of your fruit and then things stealing stuff at night. Uh, let's feed our piggy. Completed the task. Let's 
skip the bucket. Let's talk to Pops. Oops. You will find some bugs, and it's not everything is perfect. I don't think we could, uh, we just gotta get the perfect angle to talk to Dad. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Good to have you around. Must be the better out in an open air than spending all that time in the big sweaty shoe. I would lie, my health hasn't been so great, and I need help. And I will reward you for every task. I left a load of signposts around the farm to help you use left trigger to read it. Okay, Dad. Thanks, Pops. Such a good guy. Use the left trigger to view status. Okay. Empty, empty. Water some things, cool. We're gonna harvest some carrots and cabbage and fill the trot. So let's harvest this. Now let's get some carrots going. Okay, and then we are going to get some water now. If I can remember correctly, the water is somewhere up here. Yes, the water's here. You fill the wooden bucket with water. Let's go get some water. And I think if I could remember correctly, how do you do this? Trying to remember how to access my other uh This will take a second guys. Ah oh, there we go. Nope. Oh I didn't know you could do that either. That's pretty cool actually. There we go. And we're gonna water this. I think that's how you water it. Use wooden bucket to scoop up poo. Huh, how did I do this before? It's a bit different than before. I'm rhyming everything that's coming out of my mouth. Let's see. Not to be mistaken for Phil the Trot, a poppy, poppy hill farmer who had just, who had a long body and drank nothing but water. Just get a tin bucket and use it on a fresh water source. Uh, we can't give you any clues. Then hold the bucket and pour it into the trot. Okay, I feel like I was doing that. Unless that wasn't a trot. Hey, what the heck? This is new. Fishing. Ooh, that's very new. That's a, there's a lot of new stuff going on here. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and try to water this thing again. It's gonna bother me so much if I can't water it. Could be bugged. Feels like it's bugged. Full. Huh. Watering can. Guess it's not working right now. Nothing I can really do about it. Is there any other task? 
pick up a dandelion. We can do a dandelion for now. And I know a dandelion is somewhere around here, right here in front of me. That's a dandelion. Completed the dandelion task. Now, this one is a weekly task. Actually, it's special. Oh, that's weekly, so is isn't mandatory. Uh, let's see what's here. A lantern. And there's a lot of books around. I won't spoil, spoil it for you, though. Candy to fill. Likes candy. 12 years old. So that, a lot of things I haven't seen before. Uh, don't know much about my own father. Discovered information like some, he likes apples. Um, let's pick some stuff here. Get blueberries. And his pet. I think the, the cow needs to be a little bit, has a, a little bit more movement, I think. <laughs> movement. I made myself laugh at that, it's terrible. Can collect honey. If you're wondering why I'm not reading those, I've I've read them all in the previous one, and I, I don't know if they're kind of spoilery. I want people to get this game and figure things out, and I don't know how much is going to be shown from what I played it. On the Alpha Alpha. But, uh, oh, we're gonna see together. Truffle the pig, ate the key, find a way to get it out. Oh, yeah, I guess I have to give him diarrhea. Gotta make him poop. Truffle is down there. I'm assuming it's gonna be in his poo, right? If he poos a lot. Sorry guys, I'm I'm determined to fill this. No, it's not working. Let's go to bed. The task is gonna change. You when you pet them and you feed them, they do end up following you around. All right, let's go to bed. Weather expected is mostly sunny with 0% chance of rain. Come on, get out. More today. I couldn't stay awake last night. Father told me that the face spr sprinkled children with sleeping dust so they don't see the midnight dances. Ooh, we got money. Let's see what my sister wants. Another busy day. I hear you can go to the village. Don't get too distracted. Really? Really, guys, don't get too distracted with that type of stuff. Um, I like our new dad. Let's make him proud. He said if we do well, we might even get a birthday present at the end of the season. Our first ever. Here's two brass. We need a tin bucket from the village. I opened the, sou the south and west gate. I trust you to be careful out there. The veil is a haven, but always keep the path in mind. It is always safe to follow the path. Once out of the farm, follow the sign ahead. West to the village might help to say hello to some of the folk there too. All right. South of the village festival green. There's a market there on a certain day. It's pig racing, the auction, and the village woodfellow. Have a little to explore. Okay. 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 Let's go ride our pig. You know, because that's what we do in this farm. And you go up here. This is how you head to the village. I don't think there's any type of stanima. 
go here. Discovered a map spot. And a map spot, you used to be able to see yourself where you were. Okay, this is where we are right now. And we are going to go to, wait, what's this? The map is big and we've only, we've only ever seen like a small portion of how big this game is going to be. All right, let's go. There's so much stuff I want to show all you guys. And I'm not a bandwagon rider. I've been with this game. I've been ride or die for Ken Seed for a long time. I just love this game. Oh, there he is. I wanted to show this guy. This guy looks absolutely drunk and hush. Oh, he looks like he talks like this. How do you ranch? Oh, I didn't want to. You know, I want to talk to you. Just get the angles right. No, 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 no. You shall not go. No need, indeed. Come of age and you can go through the gate. Got my eye on you, Herbert. She's all. All right, Herbert. I won't bother you any longer, Herb. Uh, well, I don't have no apples. Well, we're gonna go, we're gonna follow the path. I wanna get the tin bucket. Don't wanna waste time. Time is valuable in these type of games. Remember that, time is valuable. I feel like things are closer now than they were before. Hello there. Hey, ma'am. Hello, duck egg. One of the twins, right? I am the Vale Historian, so if you find any relics or historical documents, let me know. Well, when the feature is in the build. Which it isn't, not yet, you know. Oh wait, I don't want to feed the pig I wanted to. Yes, discover a map spot. I feel like there's things going on in this game that you don't exactly see all the time. I think the devs leave surprises out everywhere. You gotta keep your eyes open. That's how I feel. I don't know if that's exactly true. So we head to the town. See when the bushes shake like that, I feel like something's stalking you. Go straight down here. We gotta get our tin can. Entering the Candle Witch Village, where our destination is today. Buy tin bucket, pick a dandelion, make an offering. We still gotta fill the trout. Hopefully, that bucket will help us. Hello, youngin. I heard you were up to Willow Down. I own the tavern with my wonderful daughter. We don't need to serve minors, but we do serve minors. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Not that there are any left. My Milan is in charge. She's just much better at the business. Okay. Oh my gosh, things I haven't seen before. Welcome to our village. I'm Toby's daughter and owner of the Flailing Arms. Can't serve you, I'm afraid. But come of age, I will happily fill your tankard. This looks scary though. Like, I wonder if there's like a story to this thing. I wish we could wear that mask. That's like creepy. I want to follow these people. Greetings. Everybody looks like my dad here though. Uh, okay. There's a dog there we can buy. Welcome to the Vale. I'm not from these parts originally, but decided to corner a hole in the market. Once I had a field in the hole, I built a stall and eventually worked my way where I am today, which is here. All right, I need a bucket, buddy. Tin bucket, right? I feel like I have a tin bucket. No, no. Yeah, they, that's that's something the devs are going to need to fix. Ah, there we go. Got it. 
There's some bugs. Uh, make an offering. I think at the tin bucket we'll be able to fill the fill the thing of my jingy. But let's just get back home real quick. We'll we'll explore a little bit more later. We're gonna try to do a good run, a solid run. See how far uh, we can get past to where we were before. We're seeing new things that we haven't seen before in previous videos that I've uploaded. The music in this game is just, mm. you know, what can I say? It's just, ah. Uh. Moving forward. This game definitely should be streamed, but I'm going to wait to stream it um, for full release. So we get a nice fresh run and I'm a bit more experienced with the game. Hey, Dad. Dad. Dad, I did it. I got the can. And I picked the dandelion when I didn't even mean to. Well done. You can use that bucket for the for a bunch of purposes. Go try it out. Okay, Dad. Um, I hate doing that, but I do it. Now, how do I get off the pig? That's that's the problem. I think that's why I didn't get on the pig last time because of that very that very thing. Got a watering can. Tin bucket, wooden bucket. Okay, we got the tin bucket. So let's fill. Fill the bucket. Now we probably can um, fill this area, right? Ah, oh, yeah, we did it. Yay. There we go. So we finished all the task of the day. Uh, which means... How do you get off the pig? I, I swear I just found out how to get off the pig. Okay, wait. A. Is that still an issue? I guess it's still an issue to get off the pig. All right, well, let's continue. Let's see what's around. Let's explore a little bit. Poppy, beautiful Poppy. Still got some time left, so we can we can check to see if we see anything new. The long road ahead. Thanks for the support. The world with your hard-earned brass here in the castle. We humbly appreciate the great sacrifice as it, <clears throat> as it either us or some other title. With the jangly bells and whistles. What lies ahead is an immediate future on this still developing road. A fresh new chat system of intrigue possibilities. Friendship and permission systems. Romance. Copulation. Loca localization. More monsters, more places to explore, family secrets, good store ownership, apocryphy, crafting beer, skills, perk illness, arcane items, even cough, cough, aging. That's all of that is coming over the approaching months. Start with the first stop of gameplay loop and expo exposing the sandbox features. With the feedback from the kind spirits taking part in our journey with us, we hope to reach a destination with healthy pigs and minimal spillage. So let's help them, guys. Help them make a game where things can become extinct. Where families are creepy and have odd, eerie backstories. Where conversation system matters, because that's going to be the biggest issue I see. How do you make 
each generation interesting with new characters and NPCs. You'll have your your people who never die, but I don't know if they can carry an entire generation. If they can make it like at least four or five generations interesting, mm, that's good to me. Make offering. Oh, I don't need to travel. Oh, I can like teleport. Hmm, interesting. <coughs> Sorry, guys. A little farm, Moon Whisperer Rune East. We're just traveling around, discovering map spots. Seeing if anything interesting comes out at night. Oh, that's kind of Witcher Beach. That's just like a... Another way to get there. Let's go back home. It's getting late. This is the North Gate entrance. They're inspired by games like Ultima, obviously the Stardew Valleys and all those games have a little bit of inspiration, but these guys are just, obviously they've done Fable if you didn't know that, so it's going to be a really good game once they, they get all uh, what they aspire to get. Alright, let's go to bed. Let's hope we uh, escape. The pig. 10% chance of rain. Oh, nope. Still have that issue where you... Uh, can't... Um, now... <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Now I'm like in the covers. It's an odd bug. <laughs> There's a lot of funny bugs in this. I am sleeping on a pig with my blankets. <laughs> I like it. I can finish missions. I can I can do all that. I think there's one way I can escape this pig. Uh, give the cow some love too. Let's explore a little bit with our uh, bizarre bug that we have right now. <laughs> it's actually a really funny bug. This uh, actual pig bug has uh, been around for a while, I think. Or they might have fixed it, but I just don't know how, how to do it don't remember how to dismount a pig or something like that. I promise you guys, I know how to play this game. I want to press Y to get up. There we go. So, to get off the pig is LB. That easy, guys. See? With a little bit of uh, messing around with buttons, you can fix anything. Let's get apples. Guy's yeah, still there by the washroom. Well, we can't go there yet. We have to be a little bit more older. Nothing, old man. I'm just looking around. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Just appreciate that awesome music right now. Uh, let's go uh, meet some interesting characters. I usually do different voices, but I'm kind of sick today. My my voice is sore. 
I have no idea if that annoys people. Oh, look, there's something in here that we didn't see before. The Pig Riders of Rowan. There was a young farmhand called Rowan Boat who found a piglet floating in the weeds a while. He was hiding from his task. He tended to a little pink ball of ham and it grew and grew until it was big enough to ride. The pig, who Rowan named Lightning, ran faster than any known hog. Rowan entered many races and won easily every time. However, one day the pig had a piglet, eleven of them. Rowan gave them to the old woman who lived in the shoe and went his way. Two years passed and it, Rowan rode into the hamlet of Nettle Prick. He heard rumblings on the horizon, however, it was not the storm but the piglets. The piglets chased after their mother whom Rowan tried to ride away to avoid being crushed by the stampede. To this day, the chase continues. You can see the flash of lightning, then hear the thunder of chase. Piglets as they eternally pursue their mother. Ooh, scary. It's like uh, my pig here is pursuing me. Hey, I know I'm cute. You don't have to whistle, you know. <laughs> Can't start the fire. Firing well. I want to order two X copper sword. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Well, hey, hello, and away we go. We heard old misery got it adopting a couple of whisper whippersnappers. I prefer to whip myself. <laughs> Oh, ignore me. Just being silly, Billy. It's lovely to see fresh faces around here. There's more like uh, an ancient burial ground than there is a village. If you need anything make making, ask Jeremy. He provides all the power. I'm just the face of the business. Although, quite a cute face. I think you'd agree. Uh. Hello there. Greetings, youngster. Heard all about you. News travels fast around here. If you want anything making, I'm all yours. See Joffrey. If you want anything from our shop, he brings a ray of sunshine, a dark and smoke yard smithing. All right, cool, cool. Thanks. Good to know. Clock. I'm balling here. I have seven dollars. How much is a dog? Ten brass. Close. Night milk. Rose of romance. Ooh. Candy. Brass drood engraving. Ah, so many things to look at. Who else can I find around this village? Ooh, I wish you could steal stuff. That's the one thing I wish you could do. And I wish they would get like agitated, like they slowly notice and they lay traps. The Ballad of Bored Bob. There was a chicken farmer called Bob who had a huge lump on his head, so he went to the docks and discovered his cocks <laughs> had a various witch they had spread. The doctor told him to cure. He must bathe his cocks in manure. When mend his sore head with red root and bread, then chop off the lump to be sure. After three weeks, the lump did return and gave Bob a terrible burn. So the doc did. So the docs had to walk, and after a talk, had the sore bit covered in fern. The lump, it did fade well away, but came back the very next day. So Bob, in his ear, set a large fire and burned his cock in the bay. The goddess smiled in approval and blessed Bob with the lump removal. The curse had been lifted. The virus had been shifted. Now his wife has it. Wow. Wow. Really? I guess you can get an STD in this. Let's uh, take some of this. You know what I mean? Let's, let's take some of that. I know there has to be more around there. Okay. It seems a lot of people are here. Fresh food. No, I don't want to buy cabbage. She carrots. This is real creepy right here. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. Some type of demon worship. 
take a good look at it. Gotta appreciate the pixel art. It seems time's a little bit longer too. That's gotta change too, that there's too many uh, similar faces. They don't have to do exactly like a bunch of overflowing NPCs. I think they could do a certain amount and give them each a personality, right? Like a true village would only, like uh, like Red Dead has a few people you would see that are just common to that area. Well, it fluctuates with different people. I wouldn't mind NPCs that travel around. Traveling NPCs. And then you can just follow them to the, where they live. You know, that's pretty cool. Eh? Like stalking someone. You know? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Very well, yeah, of course. How to play. You have five objects to throw. Hit the target. Four points. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's like a... Oops. Oh, wait. You know, let's let's do this. I think I, I, I know what's going on here. Oh. A double combo. Oh, so it like moves. Oh, I'm just destroying this game. Yeah, I got the highest score. What do you say about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exploring, having some fun around here. I'm glad they're giving, uh, they've given a lot more time to, uh, allow us to look around. I'm sorry, I just zone out sometimes and just listen to this music. It's just so relaxing and good. Let's see what's here. Burial grounds. Ooh, creepy. I don't think we've seen this before in our uh, in our run. Ooh, what's in here? It's blocked. Can't go in there yet. Something's in those bushes, guys. I'm telling you. Poppy. And who's the creepy f person who lives close to this place? Oh, hello. Nice to meet someone down the way. An orphan, eh? And a twin. Must be nice to have a family close. I haven't seen Hazel since she was married. Married a traveling man, I should say. Oh, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about Hazel. You want an apple, miss? I don't like apples. Carrots. Cabbage. What do you like, miss? Okay, she doesn't like any of that, you know? I just overfed her. What, thinks she likes blueberries or, you know, something like that? Oh, here she has a book in here. It was autumn, the day long. As the harvest moon faded, the master blacksmith Tintin stepped outside his front door and gazed at the morning skies. He spied a streak of light that flew into his valley and created a large hole in the ground. Upon investigation, he found a shining gem, which he named the Dew Star. He took it as a gift from the goddess, and so he forged a hole called the Ultima. Oh, gotta get that respect out. Mm. The hole would never get dirty. It couldn't make anything grow and sprout seed. Sadly, it was lost, and the text never told any more to this late tale. As the reference ran dry, the ancient storytellers were obviously lazy. Because a hot day, and I want to have a nap, okay? The Ultima. I need to find that hoe. You know, guys, I just need to find it. 
I need to do some farming with it. Get that soil out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. Looks like a face in the rocks, doesn't it, guys? Yeah, it's getting dark. Do you want to be here in the dark? Mm. Oh, there's something there. Let's get, let's see. Let's get it. Proverbs. Nightberry bushes grow and patches of flowers white as snow. Okay. Creepy dark. Ooh, there's another one here. Probably get it with a fishing line. If we get like a fishing rod. I'm just having fun looking at this beautiful game. Blood view, actually pretty common. Oh, dang, I thought it was like rare. Can't use that quite yet. <clears throat> Let's get some apples. Discovered monument stone. Festival. Let's keep going north. Candle Witch West. Oh no, we might end up passing out. Discovered. Hey, you must be one of those orphans. Love the best wishes to you. You're always welcome to the humble abode. Okay, let me just, uh, you know. Welcome, peace and Druda. Blessings be on you, my child. Dang. Everyone's going to sleep now, you know. I think those are Faye there. This guy's eyes are open. Kind of creepy. Oh, no, I ended up passing out. Weather expected, mostly. Okay. Let's see what her dad wants. <laughs> it's funny watching her sister wanting to use a washroom. We need to prepare her to harvest our old sickle rust. So we need, okay, he's going to give me money for a sickle. And on that note, we will end the first episode here. And we will continue the next episode tomorrow. So I hope you liked what you saw so far. It was a really a uh, quick rundown. I'm, uh, I'm assuming there's a lot more to see. And uh, I'm excited. And we're going to see it together. We're going to play this whole one through. And... Because um, this is one of the only games that I've played through entirely. Oh, what's this? Oh. What is this? You guys are going to have to tune in tomorrow to see. Until next time. Secret Code. Like and subscribe. Do all that YouTube stuff. I love you guys.